Hey guys, I'm Heath Manning of Manning Cues. This video I'm going to talk to you about aiming. I recently received a comment on my YouTube channel asking me for some assistance with aiming. Um, aiming uh, can be fairly complicated. I will try to simplify it for you very quickly. I do a few things when I uh, aim a ball. It all comes down to your posture, your uh, chin, and your head's location when you're lining up your shot, um, using a ghost ball technique, and um, choosing which part of the pocket to sink your ball in, which uh, in most cases is very important. When you have a straight in shot, you can aim at the back of the pocket. It's never going to hurt to aim at the back of the pocket when you have a straight in shot, but only when you have a straight in shot. When you have a straight in shot, if you aim right at the back of the pocket, your ball will go down if you hit it correctly. So just with an object ball, straight in the pocket, no problems. Now, what happens when you have angles? When you have angles on a shot, the shot becomes more difficult. So if I have an object ball here, and we're just going to shoot with object balls for now. I'll put it over here because the camera angle is a little better. Okay, I've got a shot here. Pretend that we're using a cue ball, but basically all we're going to do is we're going to shoot that nine ball for the back of the pocket. Watch what happens. I missed. I know why I missed. I missed because if you're not straight on, and you try to aim at the back of the pocket, you will bobble your shot or you will hit a horn. Whether it's the corner pocket or the side pocket, both are true. Whenever you have an angle, other than a straight in shot, if it's any kind of angle, you have to use the full dimensions of the pocket. There is in fact, you know, 180 degrees here in this curve, and you need to use it. So when you're aiming your shot, you're not aiming at the back of the pocket. What you're actually doing, you're aiming at the most open part of the pocket. So right here is the most open part of the pocket. I'm actually aiming back here. I'm not aiming at the back of the pocket over here. I'm aiming way over here because I'm the most central location between the edge of this horn and the edge of this horn. But notice the edges of the horns are actually near the edge of the pocket of the side, right on the table edge, not back at the back of this pocket. It makes a big difference when you play. So when you shoot a shot, you can aim at the open part of the pocket and it will go in every time. If you aim at the back of the pocket, when you have an angle, you will bobble the shot in the insides of the rails, and you will hit the horns. Next thing I'll show you is uh, how I would line up to aim a shot. Okay? Say I'm going to aim this, pop, this seven ball in the side. What you have to do is you have to aim like it's uh, a ghost ball. Ghost ball means that when I come up to the table, I stand back from the table. If, if you have a table, or next time you go to the pool hall, stand back from the table and just look at the floor. You'll see a shadow of the table all around the floor, equal distance all the way around. That's where I normally stand when I'm sighting up a shot. So when I'm back here and I'm looking at that seven ball, I'm not aiming it from here. I'm actually going to get right behind the seven ball as if I were the cue ball. Now I can see exactly where I want to hit the seven to go in the pocket. And again, I'm not aiming at the back of the pocket. I'm aiming at this section right here because I'm going in the pocket on an angle. So this becomes the new back of the pocket, not back here. So in order to use the strategy of a ghost ball, what you have to do is act like you're a cue ball. I'm at the edge of the shadow on the floor. I'm looking exactly where I want to aim. If I were to set my cue tip down, 
where the cue ball would have to be to sink that, that would be a ghost ball. So if I move that cue ball over slightly and I leave my cue tip right at the base of where the cue ball would be, which is about an inch or so back from the edge of the ball, I now know that this is where I want my cue ball to be to sink my 7 in the side pocket. All I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my tip there and walk the cue over my cue ball. Now I have my exact contact point on my 7 and I have the line that I want my cue ball to travel to sink it. So then I can just get down, I already know it, and shoot the shot. That works for any angle, big or small. Okay, it's just a ghost ball. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that from your side of the table. Throw, throw a ball out here. Throw a cue ball out here. Same thing's going to happen. I'm going to stay on the edge of the shadow. I'm going to sight with my eyes exactly the angle, which is here. So I'm going to aim it in this part of the pocket here, not back here. This becomes the new back because it's the most open part of the pocket. So there's my angle. That's where I want to hit. Come back and put my cue tip an inch or so behind the ball, right where the base of the cue ball would be resting on the table when it made contact with the nine. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk my cue over and there is my line for sinking that shot. Only thing left to do now is hit, hit it in the side pocket. Okay, no problem. You'll make your shots every time. If I aim that shot that was right here at the back of the pocket, I could have actually hit the rail here and popped out. Um, the next part that I would like to talk to you about is uh, maybe your stance. Um, Stance is also very important on any shot, not just uh, for aiming, but feeling comfortable is very important. Whenever you're going to shoot a shot, the best view that you can have, if you're able and not injured, is to bend right down and look directly from behind the cue ball. If you can get yourself down in a position that you're comfortable and you can look at that cue ball and see the line is going to travel right down the table at the same level that the cue ball is, you're going to have a great time making that shot and you're going to see it before you actually shoot it. So I know exactly where I want to hit the cue ball, exactly where I want to hit the 11. My chin is just above my uh, cue stick, probably an inch, maybe an inch and a half, maybe two inches, but that's okay. I know exactly where I'm going to hit and I'm confident. I can make that shot every time because I'm seeing it from the level of the table right through the cue ball. I can see exactly where I want to shoot that cue ball. If you are able to do that, that's great because what happens is if you're up here and you have to, you know, make a shot and that four's got a lot of room to go through there, right? A lot of room. Still has plenty of room to go through there to that side pocket, okay? If you want to make that shot and you have this kind of stance, you don't have the same view that you've got from down here. But again, if you're able, get down behind the ball, get your chin down. Your nose and your chin should be lined up directly in line with your cue. So when I get down here and I stroke this ball, I'm directly in line, I know exactly where I want to shoot it, and I can shoot it and make it with no problems because I can visually see it happening before I do it. That's how I aim a shot, but remember you have to be comfortable when you're aiming. Remember to use the ghost ball system when you're practicing, and uh, remember to use the whole pocket. Never aim at the back. Use the sides of the cushions to kick your balls in. That's what happens in a corner shot every time. How many times do you have these shots in the pool hall that you're like this? Every time you're using that side of the pocket kicks in off the side of the cushion there and into the pocket. 
Same thing applies to the side. Never aim at the back of the pocket. Use the full amount of the pocket. The pockets will seem much bigger. Um, I'm Heath Manning of Manning Cues. If that was helpful, please let me know. If you'd like to see more videos, I've got some others online there. And if you don't see what you're looking for, send me a message and I'll be sure to work on it. If you need any uh, cue supplies or repair, I'm also online at uh, www.manningcues.com. Thanks, guys.